Hello again, class. I hope that you read the document in reference to the conditional statement if else. Because this video, I just want to provide another example of using that within Python. And more importantly, how it looks in Python, because it is different than on paper. Typically with the if else statement or if else conditional statement, you're comparing two things. And if it's true, then you're going to provide an action. Or if it's false or not true, then you're going to provide a separate action. And it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. It will depend on what your actions are going to be. But for the typical if-else, it's always comparing and then providing one or two actions. So for this simple example, what I like to do is something similar to what we were looking at in a document, but a little bit differently. So I want to walk through this first before we run it, just to give you an idea of what we are looking at. And because I need to point out a couple of things. When I refer to as a syntax, meaning it's a language. So Python is pretty smart, but we have to tell it in a certain way. And this is where our coding comes in and how to apply or write that code. So we've talked about variables for a while now, and so I hope you have a good understanding of variables. Here I just simply use two, an X and a Y, with the values of five in the first and 10 in the second variable. Now let's look on the actual condition. Here we are going to say if the X variable, which is value of five, is equal to Y colon. Now since this is a condition, you have to have a colon in this statement. And additionally to that, if you happen to put in just x equals y on this condition, it's not going to know if it's a true or false. So if you're using the if condition, you have to have two equal signs. And that tells Python if this is true. So this is basically saying, is x equal to y? If so, then true. That's what it's saying. And then we're going to provide an action. If this is indeed true, I want you to print out a string. X is equal to Y. Pretty simple. If it's not, or else, colon. This is another condition. So again, we have to have a colon here to tell Python, or else, print out X is not equal to Y. So, Let's go ahead and save this, and then let's go ahead and run it to see what it looks like. So I'm going to run the module, and what we should see is it is not equal to Y. And we do. X is not equal to Y, and the reason is because 5 does not equal to 10. Now if we change our value and we made it to where it truly is equal, then it should Hit the first condition, find that it's true, and then our action, what we requested it to do. So let's go ahead and rerun this and see if we get a different output. And we do. X is truly equal to Y. So this is just a real simple video, but it's very powerful because you can have many, many options here of the variables and then checking those variables and then based upon it, if else condition have one action or another. Now in the next one, I'm going to provide you some additional possibilities for an outcome based upon two simple variables or maybe even three.